What are my people? This is Levi Pro once again, your amazing keyboardist, producer, name it. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to make an awesome bongo beat using the PSR SX600. Do amazing stuff, uh, make a complete beat that you can use even in your composition. So without uh, wasting time, as always is my slogan, I'm gonna dive in into the lesson and show you how to do it. Yeah, yes. You come so 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 the first thing is you come to the menu go to the style creator there if you trust your current current style you uh, you say no put the new style so here um setting our kit uh you can come choose the real kit no awesome we use the real kit there then come to the menu uh yes then go to controller we want to disable the touch sensitivity so that we can have full ve velocity <laughs> velocity of the drums yeah come here disable on the right one as you can see yeah of the settings nice one then uh, exit come so we have our kick for the rim shot here is it so i'm gonna make a bongo beat let's use a tempo of uh tempo of uh like say 105 there 107 yeah so put the metronome on to guide you okay then the length i've set to one the length here one so one two then you sync start so that you can begin to record after playing so so it will repeat so you come here to the channel here on the screen okay as you can see you quantize press enter so so it will be or it will be on the beat okay so the second thing i'm gonna put uh, is uh, the hi-hats I'm gonna assign the sorry about that the rhythm one as you can see press and hold this button down one to assign the rhythm one for recording so I usually like to record the hi-hats uh, separately, separately because of the uh, so that I can reduce when they are too loud or harsh so I'll come choose a different uh, come here to the part select choose a, a different uh, kit let me test I go I will go with the studio kit as you can see so metronome on one two three go yes then quantize as always the channel quantize come to the rhythm one chord one sorry then press and hold down to amp it for recording as you can see now then come choose my voices i'll choose the grand piano then come back you know we disabled the velocity come to the menu go to the controller come to the settings we'll enable the velocity okay right one the touch the touch so right now you see uh i can play the piano in velocities so then my progression is one four one five a famous song you've heard it So that's the, the what I'm gonna be playing. So metronome on. One, two, three, go. Uh we forgot something, and that's good. We forgot something. Uh which is to show you the um, the length. We didn't change the length because I'm gonna play different uh I what do we call uh progressions. Or I'm gonna play one four one five. So you see, one four one five will take like four bars. So we need four lengths. So to delete that, come to the basic, and uh -huh. then come to channel delete, code one, enter. You've deleted it. So then 
come here to the basics then come to the length here mean a mean a okay yes put the length to four then enter put the enter right return okay then record so we're good to go one two three go <laughs> Okay, then come to the channel quantize. So another another very important thing we want to remove there's a there's these reverb reverb things. So we want to remove on the rhythm one and the rhythm two. So come to the rhythm two. Arm it for recording first. Then come to the mixer. Okay, mixer here. As you can see, yeah, on the screen you will see. Then we go to the effects. Um, effects. Um. The good thing, uh, yeah, it doesn't have the reverb, but let's see the rhythm two whether it has the reverb. Oh God, it doesn't. So I think the grand has. I want. I want to remove the reverb on the on the grand, and here it it is. Let me reduce it uh, like to ten. I don't like so much of reverb. So if you want to increase the volume, it's so easy. Come to balance. I'm increasing. Press one. Nice one. Let's put another exit and come here. Let's put another instrument. Yeah, we'll use the strings. Um, so yes, that's what I'll be playing. So So I'll come and quantize it. Then the good thing with the Yamaha keyboards, I can change the instrument if I, I, I don't feel satisfied, but I want to play it again. I can come just to the uh, part select, then change. Start for now. Now I want to put the bass now. So come, I'm the bass for recording. Choose your, your bass. Uh, the bass, they will choose the bass uh, voice. Come to the bass. Mm -hmm. uh, fat. So I'm, I'm I'm picking I'm choosing the, the the sounds to use. So it's tricky. <laughs> I love sub bass, but I hear there's a variety. So I'm choosing. I'm choosing. I'm choosing. So let me stick with mini sub for now. Then are yeah, we good to go? So my turn. So, so I'll quantize to that. So if I feel that the bass is heavy. I can reduce the volume. If I can, I want to change the bass. I can come just change.
many things you can alter, okay? Uh, just you just arm the tracks for recording by pressing and holding down. Then after that, so we want to save our beat. Uh, come here to save. Uh, you come here to save, okay? Here to save. Here, come save. Then come here save. Then you can name it. Let's name this bongo. Bongo. N G O. Then okay. Now it has saved. So if you exit, now come to the styles. You find the bongo here. So, so what? Is, you you play the beat. So um, then you put the accompaniment on button. Then you play the C major seven. Oh, <laughs> my settings. My settings, you come to the split, chord fingering, then chord detection area, lower, then C major 7. So that's it. Subscribe, subscribe. You can do so much with the SX600, SX700, SX900. God bless you. Shalom.